welcome back everybody welcome if you are new today we're in the xfinity series here at chicagoland fastest i've gotten down to is like a one one two like for a full lap but i know i can get faster if i can get the the lap like right because like my, my optimal lap i've gotten down to like the nines but i ran the top for my one one two lap i'm gonna do that the first lap try to build up as much speed as we can second lap i'm gonna run top and then bottom and three and four that's where I can run a really fast lap. I hit the bottom in three and four correctly. But you can be fast up top, but I think it's like kind of in the zeros maybe is what the max you can get out of that. But you can't quite 100% floor it all the way around, but you just, you have to let off a little bit, but we're gonna do the Great best run. we can here. Second lap I'm banking on being better. As long as I don't slide out in three and four. That's been the hard part for me. Just trying to keep it steady through the top in one and two. Three and four is a big bump up top, so you gotta be careful about that. Right in the middle, right there. All right, that was a good first like setup lap, I feel like. That was a really good first lap. 114 okay just about what I ran in my last practice I'm, I'll take that you just have to hit three and four right it's very difficult though because it slides out so easy okay we didn't slide out I almost got the wall but I think that's gonna be faster I honestly think that's going to be faster. What is it? 029. I'll take that. That's a good lap. 029. That's pretty solid. I just past the nine, but that's definitely the fastest I've ran myself like a full lap so far. So I'm very happy about that. We are car number two here. I think it's second split because there was like 140 ish people that, that registered. So I think we're in second split, honestly. So it is what it is. Hopefully we can do really well here. But if we hold on to this pole, let's go out there and try to get this win. Alright, well, we stayed on the pole. I'm honestly shocked by that, but I'm very happy about it as well. We are a very high card number in this race, so we need to do well. Try to gain some iRating out of it, but I really want to try to go get this win. I don't, I'd never won in an Xfinity car on iRacing, so that would be fun. Chicago Lane's a very fun track. I think you can get multiple lanes running. I think in the race, I'm probably just going to run like top or like middle to top in both corners. Try to keep up the momentum for the most part. And try not to burn up the right front doing that. Because I feel like you'll get a little looser up there than on the bottom. You might burn up your right front more. So we're going to do the best we can. Try to hold everybody off if, if possible. And just see what becomes of this race. We have two sets of tires for this 45 lap race. Hopefully it goes pretty green. And we don't have to really worry about pitting. We have enough fuel to make it, it says. But I think if I run top the entire time, that may be in question, honestly. Right off the bat, I'll probably run bottom in the first corner just because you're not going super fast yet. So bottom's going to be quickest on the first lap. Nice lap there, Austin. Thank you. But at least in one and two, the bottom will be the best way around to start off. We just got to not slide out or anything right in the beginning. I can't figure out the secret sauce for this uh, qualifying. What line did you run? I ran the wall. Yeah, I think two, next time I'm going to run the wall one and two, and then the bottom three and four. And have a good run. That's what I did there. But, oh. I was waiting for him to say something. I know some of the faster guys are running bottom on both sides, but I can't get one and two on the bottom fast. But let's go out here and try to get this win if we can. Bottom's very tough in one and two to me to get working. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that the bottom isn't always the quickest. In most places, it's just wrap the bottom and hold the wheel. Right. Yeah, hopefully it makes for some good racing at least. I'll tell you what, the difference between second split and top split is pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is second split. What are we in? I imagine second split. I could be mistaken, but I think this is second. 
Uh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, last last night I was running top split two races in a row, and they just it's this single file. There's no way this bottom, is third. Or like top to bottom. If this is tires, third, my mind's gonna be blown by that. Much racing as we do in here. I'd be shocked if this is third split, cause I have like 3,100 I rating. It's not awful, Thanks, but not Link. great. I'd be super shocked if it's third split. Those top two splits are gonna be so high. Okay, I, uh, I do have to wait for the restart zone. I didn't even get a wait to go at some point in the restart zone. Once you're in the restart zone, it goes. <laughs> So be wary of that if you're out front. It's good to know. Oh God, I'm already losing it. Outside, That's lovely. Two outside, two cars. One outside. My bad there, I'm trying my best to stay out of you. Right oh no, you're fine. I don't think we really got too much damage. Don't know why it gave us a 4X. Still outside, two outside. One outside. But already sideways in the first corner and in this corner. Not a great start. Yeah, I'm not too sure. The contact outside. stuff has been super sensitive lately. Um, it's so loose on the bottom. Why is it so loose down here? I was expecting the top to be looser, honestly. But you can see the run they're getting on the top side because I can't get the angle going in down here. Might be okay in three and four here. These guys are beating and banging on each other. Oh, okay. we're gonna be about three wide. I'm backing out of that. Six shot driving deep in three. Clear high, clear high. I'm not sure what that person just said. Still out there. Clear. All right, let's try to get back to the top where I want to be. Okay, never mind. That guy got the wall. Outside. As soon as sorry, I was going. Sorry. Hopefully we don't have it. Oh, and he got collected. What a race. Oh, and yeah, our car is killed after that. Lovely. That's a great race. <laughs> I'm gonna see how much damage we have, holy but shit. holy shit, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, we got a meatball flag. Wheels out of alignment, thank you. Oh, completely for me too. Like I'm going straight like this. What the hell happened at the beginning of that? Oh, I was sideways in turn one. Checking up the nipple. Four three. But yeah, that's uh one one way a race is gonna go. I don't know how much front end damage we have. I can see it popped up a little bit, but Jesus Christ. That's an unfortunate start. I really wasn't expecting to be that loose in the first corner, but really that didn't cause anything. Everybody went around me on the outside and then the 22 got the wall and then somebody got the 22 going into that corner and all hell broke loose there immediately. So that's terrible. I'm very sad about that. I had such high hopes for this race too. This season has not gone too well for uh, us at all in either dirt or oval oval has been better than dirt for us so far this season but it's just been rough i was happy with the pole we had such a good qualifying and my car is just screwed at this point i can tell so i got 45 from that bump dude Three, what two one oh i'm dead I right got now. a minute wow oh too far forward they have only a minute. I have eight required. Yeah, my race is done. So I'm sure this won't stay green. So as long as it don't oh. go a lap down, it's just oh yeah, I have up. no front end. What the hell? I have no front end from that. What happened? From when? Because I want to see where I got that. I know I got a little bump back there. That wasn't too bad. He nailed the wall off of two right when I come up to uh, get behind him. Well, and I looked at the replay. I was holding my line there. Jesus. I don't know what you were trying to accomplish. Oh, well, yeah, we got a lot of front end damage from that. Like, there's just nowhere for me to go at that point. Like, I'm just the best part is when sliding wreck. up. I'm so sad about that. Like, I'm like, all right, let's get to the top. We're going to start running the line I want. And then all of a sudden, he nails the wall. And then the one car just hooked the 22 into that corner completely. So, that that's just super unfortunate. Didn't really have much place to go. I got hit by the 22 from behind. Then I got absolutely destroyed right here. And I lost my front end from that. That's weird. I got hit in the left rear, lost my front end <laughs> bumper. But yeah, our car is destroyed. Uh, that's just super unfortunate. Not the way I wanted that race to go though. So literally going into the first corner, it just started breaking loose on me in the back end. No clue why. Did get a little bit of damage there. It wasn't really anything though. So 
I don't know. That's a bad way to uh, have this race go, though. So we're going to finish way the hell back here. Lose a lot of I rating. So that's a very unfortunate race. So I appreciate you guys for watching anyways. Uh, going to move on to the next race, I guess. And hopefully we can do better next week in the Xfinities. I don't know where they're going. I know soon they're going to Monza. That's going to be absolutely crazy. Monza is nuts. So hopefully we can have a better result there. Uh, I may try this again later in the week, but I might not record it. I'll see. I'll figure it out. But appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.